Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland and this is Boring Objects Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes And the purpose of this podcast is for me to just talk boringly about a specific object or subject. And while I do that, you can start to relax. Your body, the muscles in your body can start to relax. Your mind can start to slow down. And I suppose if, if nothing else, it's kind of like a distraction from thinking about other stuff that isn't needed at this time because you have decided to listen to me wamble on about whatever it is I have decided to discuss on this particular podcast and I have decided to talk about baths yep baths now I've lived in a few different places over the years. And I've never really thought about the baths before. So this is this will entail me actually making use of my memory because I'm not sure how far I can actually go back and remember which different living establishments had baths, actual baths in the bathroom. Now, in my early life, pretty much every bathroom had a bath because that's why it was called a bathroom, not a shower room. A bathroom. Most houses had bathrooms. But when I left school and started work, I then began to move around and live in different places and not all of those places had a bath some only had showers so it really was a case of sort of making do with whatever was available at that time 
time. Because if there's no bath where you live, then it's quite difficult to have a bath. As I'm sure you agree. So the first, when I was, I go from when I left school because we had a bath in the bathroom in the house where I lived with my family. However, there was a shower in the bath with a shower rack and or shower rail. To keep the water in inside the bath, so that the water didn't go everywhere. It was, I suppose, it's quite a good idea, really, because then the water went against the shower curtain, but it didn't go against the wall or anywhere else. So uh, it was almost like being in a proper shower. But you're in a bath. But not having a bath. It was mind-blowing at the time. I think it was the first shower in a bath ever to be had. And uh, people used to travel for miles to come and watch. Yeah. Thinking about it, that might be a bit of a weird situation. Um, my mum was very popular. So, I... When I left school, I had a flat above a chip shop. I rented the flat for £40 a week. And that had a bath. Yeah, it had a bath, it did. It had a bath. The problem with that bath is it wasn't self-cleaning. So I like self-cleaning baths like the one I had when I was at home, when I was a child. The bath just cleaned itself. You know, no matter how dirty I got it, Next time I went in there, it was clean. But this bath that I, I said I didn't move into the bath, but the the bath that was in the bathroom of the flat that I rented when I was sixteen was it just kept getting dirtier and dirtier. The cleaner I got, the dirtier it got couldn't really understand um, yeah but I had a bath there um, but it wasn't mm, it wasn't the most personal bathroom I've had because members of the public had to have access to a toilet uh, that rule came in I think around 86 for restaurants and there was a restaurant connected to the chip shop so people had to be able to go to the toilet if they wished to do so and they had access to my bathroom So that wasn't very nice. And then I moved out of there I'm trying to think where I went to. I think I stayed at my dad's and he had a sh he had a bath. But again, he had a shower in the bath. 
So, um, I personally back then preferred baths because I liked them better. I used to enjoy the the relaxation aspect of it. Although a nice shower, especially if it's nice and powerful, and it's you know when it like uh, I can say sprinkles. That's not really, but when the shower massages the top of your scalp with the water, the pressure is lovely. It's very lovely and the muscles in your body you can just massage yourself with the shower it's nice so I kind of like both really but I did have a preference for baths over showers And I'm trying to think. The next place I went to after my dad's. Um, oh. uh, yeah, I ended up, yeah, I moved above a supermarket and there was a bath in there as well but there was also a shower but the lady that yeah, the lady I was renting the room off she used the shower and I used the bath I used the bath and my landlady, she used a shower because she couldn't fit into the bath. She had a few problems and she got stuck once. And a fire brigade had to come. So she... used the uh, shower... Now, I'm trying to think of other places that I've lived where there was baths or showers. Yeah, there was one place. Yeah, there was. A, um, it was a shower room, and it was the first place I'd lived in where it was literally a shower. Not a shower in a bath, but a shower. And I realised that, oh, I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. Because you had to walk through the kitchen to get to it, which meant being a little bit on show. Because before then, and I've had it since as well, but most places that I've lived... The bathroom's been upstairs where all the bedrooms are. So generally, you could just get up, go into the bathroom, and get back without anyone seeing you. But because the bathroom was in the middle, in, you had to walk through the kitchen to get to the bathroom, there was quite often someone in the kitchen, which meant I had to make sure I was... I was wearing a dressing gown. I had to sort of, you know, wear something. Some clothing. I don't know if I really... No, I didn't really like that. And I found the heat aspect of showers dodgy at best. Trying to get, a, you know, like a proper, regular uh, temperature, continuous, throughout the duration of 
said shower. But often I found, often, the temperature drops. It becomes cold, then it becomes too hot, then it becomes cold. And I just, I would not abide it. Well, I would not put up with that. So I moved. Other places, I lived in a place once where I was working early in the morning. I had shift work and it was in a factory. And my landlady was moaning at me because I was having a bath too early in the morning. I had the same thing from another landlady who had her bedroom near the bathroom and I had a job at the time when I first moved in I was working in a factory like you know in a bakery and I wasn't allowed to have a bath early in the morning so I had to have a a strip wash at the sink which you know it's, it's okay to a degree but it's yeah it's not really wasn't ideal for me at the time plus I was paying rent it'd be different now if I was renting a place and someone said Oh, you can't have your bath. And I'm like, shush. I think I just go shush. I put my fingers to the lips. So like, shush, 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 shush. I'm paying rent. No, but you've got to wake me up. I don't want to be woke. Shush, 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 shush. I'm paying rent. Yeah, but the boiler makes noise in the morning. Shush. I'm paying to live here. I'm going to have a bath when I want to. Thank you very much. Good tidings to you, young sir. And uh, but back then, I was very young. I was only five years old. And, you know, I had to get ready for my job in the morning. And my landlady was saying, Oh, you can't have a bath in the morning. Uh, it wakes me up. Uh, she was Welsh. And I I just put I just went along with it. Which is a bit silly really, I shouldn't have done. I should have had more gumption. More more steel in me heel. more wood in me hood I don't know whatever so more crap in me hat I know this this that didn't really work I let it that out so other bathrooms with baths um, let me think Yeah, it was a bath in that one. So I'm going through all the different places. And nearly everywhere I've lived has pretty much had a bath. However, I've shared the bathrooms with people. Nearly everywhere I've lived there's been baths shared. So that's not the most uh, glamorous experience in the world sharing a bath with people you don't know but then I went through this little period this little period where 
didn't have a bath to, you know, literally to, to use. So when I moved into my student accommodation, there was no bath. I was living in a house with a family and a little kind of extension with two rooms and a bathroom. But it was just a shower. It was a shower room with a bog. And... I didn't... I didn't dislike the shower. But it took a little bit of getting used to. And then I moved out of there. I was there for about three years. And then I was evicted from there. And I moved into a... Yeah, I moved into another place. That also had a shower. It was a room with an ensuite bathroom, but with no bath, just a shower, and a, and a bog, of course. Now that was a really nice, you know, nice bathroom-ish thing, but it didn't work properly. The toilet broke after about a week of me being there and it wasn't me it didn't break as in I was you know oh you're too heavy no it was a standard toilet you know could take humans I'm not that heavy and but the the plumbing went again I take no responsibility for that it just wasn't a good toilet very badly behaved very naughty toilet but there was a shower in there and it was okay it was quite a nice shower but it leaked into the downstairs flat now all the all the showers leaked apart from mine to start with and then I was in there with my girlfriend and we were having a shower together and it was lovely. It's a wonderful experience. Um one day I'll read you the poem I wrote about it. And so we get out of the shower. Uh we decided that we we're gonna try something a bit unusual. So I was quite looking forward to this thing that we were you know, we we're gonna you know how try something new. And then there's a knock at the door. And next, you know, my neighbour downstairs. Oh, it's the, 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 the ceiling's caved in on me because of the, of the shower. It's the water's gone everywhere, she said to me. I said, do you realise what you're interrupting? She said, I don't know, I don't care, I, I, there's water everywhere. So I said, okay. That was very bad timing. I mean, you could say, sitting on your bed, reading a book, and having the ceiling fall on you, is not great timing either, but each to their own, I mean. I'm just sticking to my truth. <laughs> and I moved out of there. And I moved into another place that also had a shower. So I had three homes in a row that didn't have baths, just had showers. So it's three, four, five years, pretty much. Until I moved here in 2000 and 
Wow. More than five years. I moved here in 2015. I moved into the place, the first place with the shower in 2007. So yeah, it's a seven years pretty much. So seven years without having a bath. That's not totally true because I did have baths during that time in other places. But not at home. Uh, I knew where I knew where my next door neighbour used to leave their key, you know, when they went out, it was under a pot in the garden so I just helped myself to the bath I figured that he wanted me to do that I don't know just he was quite generous so I thought he'd let me I, I don't know what I was, and that never happened I don't even know why I'm saying that it never happened and um, he wasn't generous and he didn't have a bath he had a shower as well. It's like the whole street seems to just have showers. And then I moved here. And I was very pleased. Very pleased to see that there was a bath. But it also has a shower extension attached. So I can kind of choose... And I was pleased that I was living in a shower. Very pleased. I wasn't living in the shower. I was pleased that I had a bath. I lost I lost my concentration there for a minute. It's hard to believe considering how interesting all this is. I was really pleased that I had a bath. After seven years I finally had my own bath. And no one else was going to be using it. Just me. I wasn't sharing it with anyone. And a couple of weeks after living here, I was in the bath and I slipped, fell out and I broke my wrist. And it's probably not really relevant to anything, but I kind of put me off baths, if I'm honest. Well, it, it put me off breaking my wrist. That was the thing. It put me off, you know, put me off that more than anything else. Yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much. I mean, I'll even use a bath in a hotel, but a lot of the cheaper hotels you know the um, like the Holiday Inn it's not a hotel really well is it a hotel I don't know but it's um, they have showers I think but I do like a, still like a nice bath every now and then Although, you know, I'm a bit bigger than I used to be. A bit bigger. I'm now the one that gets stuck in the bath. Before I was so slim, I used to be able to swim in the bath. I did, I used to be able to do lengths. Now I have to squeeze myself in. And just hope that I'll escape at some point. And that's it. That's pretty much my experience with baths. So, uh, yeah. Bye.